Hello once again, AppleAndApps.com here, checking out Zombie Highway Driver's Ed, which is a brand new spin-off to the original, which hopefully you played. It came out way back in 2009, and it's a definite App Store classic. And the new Driver's Ed spin-off delivers a very similar style, but amped up in almost every way possible. So the base gameplay returns, and that's you're driving down an endless road with zombies on the side of that road, and they're jumping on your car to try to take it down, tip it over, and attempt to go and munch on you. So you obviously don't want that to happen, and your goal is to survive as long as you possibly can. And the zombies are going to leap onto the side of your car, and to get them off, you scrape on the side of barriers, and in the original there's abandoned cars, this one is entirely barriers. And there's a few distinctions with the driver's ed spin-off. The main beginning distinctions are that rather than having weapons or anything like that. You can only get rid of zombies by scraping them off the side of your car. Like I'm doing right now. And that means that driving is at much more of a premium because you had guns in the original game. So now Driver's Ed is more of a driving challenge to try to survive. And also everything is enhanced in terms of the controls the game setup, and the graphical fidelity. Right off the top, if you played the original, hopefully you can see that this game has a lot more going on in terms of the graphics engine. And also there's brand new environments that you're driving through, and that includes unique challenges like this, which is kind of a slalom mode, where you gotta get on the specific sides of the barriers. And then you also have this new ability called Popper, where you tap the screen, and you blast off all the zombies' heads really slick like that. Really nice animation. You can hopefully see those new animations as well whether you're scraping the zombies off or popping their heads or running them over. And the main game also focuses on more of an arcade style where you're constantly aiming to increase your multiplier. As I'm doing right here you can see it in the side it's a 5960 and you're going for an high score as well as trying to survive. And that's by kind of getting consecutive hits on these zombies. Excellent. Then the red zombies return. This is red fat zombie which returns as well. Oh, I missed the song. Ruin that. Looks like we need a popper. Excellent. This is a pretty good run, I will admit. And of course, right on cue, I lose. So then, once you do lose, it's an endless game, as I already mentioned. There's going to be the leveling up to increase your multiplier to boost up your score the next time you play. And then, you earn cash for every run. And that cash can then, in turn, be used in the garage, where you can upgrade your car, you, know, you can upgrade the tires, engines, struts in the overall cage and then you can also upgrade the popper so you have a greater capacity let's pick that up because that's a valuable addition and then I think we should upgrade the car because anti-roll and inertia are improved so that way it's harder for the zombies to tip it over so with that in mind let's jump back out onto the road and go again and then there's a constant set of objectives we'll click on more to show you just how many are included you got all these different ones to do completed and they're just going to keep scrolling through as you unlock them and that's going to again help you earn your cash upgrade your car and as you upgrade your car you can go on longer runs we'll start off with slalom right off the top so it's interesting that the slalom kind of it feeds you going different directions on the barriers when you kind of want to scrape the opposite direction so you kind of got to choose between focusing on the score multiplier and surviving. That comes in more to play as you advance further into the game. Also there's a negative if you scrape your car even a little bit up against the barrier that can break uh, an entire combo chain so keep that in mind. That's a difference from the original. And this game is 99 cents. It's universal for all iOS devices and it's really what zombie highway would be if they completely redid the game 
based on 2013 rather than the 2009 game. Four years changes a lot, and that's pretty much what the result is of driver's ed. Just new uh, car physics, new dynamics, new lighting effects, new animations, new special modes and challenges, but the same really well-made deluxe. I'll pop these guys up. <laughs> zombie killing action and just a game style that you can just keep playing it's so easy to just press the restart button and go down that zombie highway once again let it roll down the highway <laughs> life is a highway and I'm gonna ride it all night long oh so we'll do this one more run there's a little metal barricade, or not, a laser barricade, I mean. Scrape these guys up, and lost the chain. And also, in the top left, it shows you that I've gone... <laughs> Excellent job there. It would be nice to see some like boost or something so you can jump ahead you know like a fast forward button or even a checkpoint button so you could start at slalom level three for example so there's no checkpoints like that and there's no fast forward consumable purchase actually there's not many uh, consumable IPs you can get uh, coin do or cash doubler and that's essentially a twenty five thousand dollar cashback so really optional stuff if you're wondering about that so now we keep rolling along and just this is what you have to expect if you decide to pick up zombie highway driver's ed for yourself it's really twisty right in here this is some nice slalom action close oh they got us and so we hope you enjoyed our Apple and Apps in Action video, and we'll talk to you next time.